In this short video, we're going to look at the relationship between COBIT-5 and ITIL. I'll begin by emphasizing that the two frameworks complement one another. It's not a case of choosing one or the other, you need both. The two do have some common concerns, some shared interests. For example, both frameworks describe a number of processes that should be established by a well-run enterprise. In some cases, a COBIT process maps directly onto an ITIL process. For example, the COBIT process BAI-06 Manage Changes maps onto the ITIL Change Management process. In other cases, there is no simple mapping, but there is a common concern. For example, the management of risk across the service lifecycle has a high profile in ITIL, but it does not describe a formal process. COBIT, on the other hand, describes process APO-12 Manage Risks. Broadly, COBIT is concerned with what IT should be doing, whereas ITIL is more concerned with how it does things. The two frameworks are both concerned with IT, of course, but each has a different focus. ITIL is very much focused on IT. Of course, it recognizes the primacy of the business. It emphasizes that IT exists to support the business but the bulk of its advice relates to matters internal to IT. COBIT, on the other hand, has the whole enterprise as its concern. Yes, it advises on IT-related issues, but it also recognizes that those issues are not limited to IT professionals. COBIT is a whole enterprise framework. COBIT and ITIL share a number of important characteristics. Both are frameworks. The significance of this is that they provide guidance that an enterprise can draw on to devise solutions that are appropriate to its unique situation. Neither provides an implementation blueprint, neither is a recipe book. Both frameworks derive from real-world experience, so you can be confident that they provide practical advice, that they will work. The frameworks are based on experience drawn from a wide range of enterprises, commercial, not-for-profit and government, organizations both large and small, and enterprises operating in many different countries. Their advice can be applied by any organization. Over the last 10 or more years, ITIL has been adopted by a large number of organizations that were seeking to improve their IT services. It's probably true to say that it has had much greater market penetration than COBIT. Over the next few screens, we'll examine how COBIT can help those organizations to improve further. The first way that COBIT can assist an organization that is already using ITIL practices is that it provides a means of auditing and evaluating its IT activities in a rigorous, objective, and repeatable way. There is no officially sanctioned means of evaluating ITIL service management practices. A number of independent service management consultancies have developed assessment services, but they are proprietary and not necessarily built upon objective foundations. Given its origins as a tool for auditors, it is not surprising that COBIT is designed to be auditable. For example, processes, practices, inputs and outputs are all given unique identifiers. Interfaces between processes are defined explicitly. In addition, COBIT comes with an assessment framework that includes a training and certification scheme for assessors to ensure rigor and objectivity. COBIT-5 assessments are based on capability rather than maturity. An objective scoring mechanism. A major feature of COBIT that enhances ITIL practices is the goals cascade mechanism. This is illustrated by the diagram on your screen. This mechanism allows IT activities to be linked to stakeholder needs and enterprise objectives. ITIL talks about the need to align IT resources and activity with business objectives, but provides little or no advice on just how to do it.
The COPET Goals Cascade Mechanism benefits service management in a number of ways. It can help to prioritize service management improvement opportunities, identify key service management activities, and justify improvement proposals by linking them to organizational objectives. The prime benefit that ITIL provides for COBIT is detailed advice on how to carry out many process activities. As we've already seen, COBIT focuses on what should be done, whereas ITIL advises on how to do them. If you want to know more about how you can use COBIT to improve your service management capability, just get in touch using our email address which you can see on screen right now.